Slut in the market, a break from the garbage An artist, sensitive about mind and pardon No margin for error, flawless beware -er. The black cat goddess, you walking with a panther Painting these pictures with words like Samantha MacGyver, alchemy on the track, make it lava And I won't stop rocking till I retire Singular or plural, she break numero uno Colder than she Hey, it's your girl, Madam Money, a.k.a. Trap, 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 and welcome to the official Sort in the Game album review of Jim Jones and Harry Fraud's The Fraud Department. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's get it. Now, I know y'all trying to, you know, just come in on the Harry Fraud conversation, but he had a crazy 2020 doing joints with uh jay worthy larry june um mayhem lauren um as well as currency a fire project and the outrunners and the director's cut from that as well too so they'll be sleeping on um harry fraud out here he got one of the most craziest tags in hip-hop period the music of the harry fraud let's go jim jones has been on a like a a hard run with his last couple of albums, starting with Wasting Talent, going to um El Capo. You for me, Wasting Talent is an album that I listen to any given point in time. That's like it's like a classic to me. You feel me? All right. But let's get into this um fraud department. Well, it starts off with a track, Laps Around the Sun, and that's um that's like the vibe that Harry Fraud does best. So I understand them putting this uh the first track on here. Even though I would like to tweak this album a little bit. We're gonna go into that as we get into that. But really, really just just a dope way for Harry Fraud to show off what he does best. You feel me production rides with that first track. Next track on here called Fucked Up featuring Belly. Little bitch you got me fucked up. Little bitch you got me fucked up. Strong hood hook, you feel me? This is dope right here. Um it was dope. Do you feel me? The jazz undertones, the little stuff going on there just shows um Harry Ford's musicality when it comes down to producing these beats. Next track on here, Aunt Viola. And this is like this is like the typical Harlem style beat. Like you feel me? Like really, really dope stuff right here. Um Jones on here. When you get married to the game, they never give you the pictures. And that's that's a fact. Um Davies bent this. You feel me? I'ma just be real clear right here. Dave East, he bent this shit, to be honest with you. When they double team me, you supposed to pass. And it's crazy as hell. Like, all right, this is a track that made me notice too, right? Because the track was too short. It was a dope track. It was too short to me. When did having a feature on an album, like on a on a track, mean that you're not supposed to still give us a second verse? When is these like these these tracks is like okay Jim starts it off, uh we have the um the hook by the guy Trav in there then we have Dave East doing a verse and why didn't Jim Jones close it out so I want to just be clear here when it comes down to you having a feature like the feature is supposed to be a feature you're supposed to have more work on the on the song than the feature artist on the song but you know that's just my thoughts just my thoughts um next track on here lose lose. Uh, we get to charge it in the game. We live like we deal with um, debit. That's a fact. He always talking about slapping somebody in, in a track. You feel me? That's what Jim Jones is known for saying. He going to slap, slap, smack a koofy off. He going to smack your lips off if he hear you talking about him on this, on, on anywhere. That's what he says on this track. Next track on here, Bada Bing. And this is a trap track. And I just want to show you that this, like shows Harry Fraud's like versatility on here because I wasn't expecting a real like trap trap come coming on here but Jim Jones he breezes over trap trap this ain't the first time he's on a trap track um French Montana is on here it's you know it's crazy right because this song made me think about Nas's spicy track with Fabio Farin and ASAP Rocky and how y'all was trying to like uh talk bad about that track and it's not it's not in Nas element and everything like this but the difference between like spicy and this is Jim Jones is telling you on this track is for his youngin and he tell like the youngins is telling you in the hook this my youngins make the chopper sing my youngins bring the drama you feel me like so he's telling you this is for the younger audience and sometimes the tone that you take on these out like on these tracks or whatever have you make a big difference just by what you're actually putting out there like content wise word wise wordplay wise really really dope stuff um <clears throat> next track on here barry right barry white this is um tag 
when you you gotta watch when niggas start feeling entitled. We buy the whole whip, so every wheel got a title. We own shit like if Jay walked in the building that title. And I ain't gonna lie to you, it kinda got away from him a little bit trying to put so much in the beginning of this, but it's really, really dope. The pain in my voice get deep like Barry White. I could dig that. Um, next track on here, Say Your Prayer, featuring um Currency and Jay Worthy. So that's just, you know, um, Happy Fraud bringing, like, all the other artists that he's dealt with in the past year together on the track. Really, really dope. The People Remix. Now, we heard the people with Jim Jones and his Community Conscious track. He has Conway on here. This was really, really just just a, like, just a dope in the mi intermission in the mix of what was going on here. But this track led me to see, like, how we could have kind of tweaked this a little bit harder and how y'all might have been feeling this a little better bear with me one second let's go through this the next track on here right is called luxury ties and that has um big body bears on there you feel me so hard ass beat i wish this was the first track on the album i wish this was the first track on the album because that beat is just so hard and it's typical jim jones now we said lap around the sun was typical harry fraud when it comes down to um the beat but this is typical jim jones and i wish he would have started the album off just like this so the next track on here is called three cuts featuring um Mano, and it has the vocal uh jay-z three cuts in your eyebrow trying to wild out the beat itself without the vocal is typical harry fraud so i was saying if they would have came in this album right starting off with luxury ties going into three cuts and then the joint with belly and dropped um lap around the sun all the way to the bottom of this i think i think i would have received it a little bit better because i hear people out there you know y'all coming of course make mixed reviews with it and saying it's not as strong as project as this that the third i think it was really organized in a in a way that could have been a little different but you know when i heard that three cuts joint you know i freaked out right that's just common knowledge at this point what's gonna happen there um but this is what jim jones does best on this track may know he dropped a project this year dia legend you know what i mean he did his thing on here as well dope stuff last track on here make it home really really strong but i wish that like make it home and like lap around the sun would have been like second the second to last track and the last track on there maybe even leaving um lap around the sun to be the last track on the album i think it would have been a stronger project but it's a dope project don't get me wrong that's just me and him meddling around with the fucking art you feel me it don't mean nothing either here no there but this was really really dope to me um a lot of people don't understand too that jim jones like he likes to use features he likes to do this so um when he has a lot of features on a project, I know the project is going to be good because he's going to give you his best verses. And this might be the most featureless project we've seen from him when he has these moments that shine by himself and stuff on um the project. But this was really, really dope to me. Really, really strong. You feel me? Just that one, two, three punch between um, Wasted Talent, El, El um, Capo, and now, you feel me, the Fraud Department. So, you feel me? Jim Jones out here steadily working and putting out fire project more so than his counterpart parts are doing so that's it that's all let me know what the best track is off of this let me know what the best beat is off of this in the comments below but i'm about to get out of here i'm madam money you can follow me on twitter and ig at madam money says it's m-a-d-a-m-m-o-n-e-y-s-a-y-s and as always i'll be seeing you guys around peace <laughs>